Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com doing a very appropriate break for Tuesday, October 11th for all the uh, division series games started. We got Cleveland at Yankees, scoreless in the bottom of the second. Right there. And we'll talk about the other two games here as well after the randomizer once we start ripping boxes. So, a lot of great boxes in here. Some pretty good stuff, including some first off the line. A lot of high-end boxes. No vet common ship, no paper-based ships. So thanks everyone for uh, for getting in on it. Appreciate it. Specifically this group right here. Big thanks to everybody who bought their spots straight up. And congrats again to the people who won their spots in those uh, clearly authentic box breaks. Carl with a nice little run right there. There was that extra giveaway we did too. Nick won that spot, so congrats to him. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Two and a one, three times. Easy. One, two, three. Carl down to Nicholas. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. Easy. We got the rocks down to the brew crew. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Carl with the Rockies and the Blue Jays. Ryan with the Rays. Carl with the Mets. Michael with the Cubs. Chris with the Angels. Kenneth with the Dodgers. Carl with the Royals. Ryan with the Nats. Greg with the Twins, Michael with the Yankees, Carl with the Guardians, Scott with the Diamondbacks, Chad with the Padres, Nick with the Giants, Carl with the Astros, last spot mojo, David with the Tigers, Carl with the Red Sox, David with the A's, Scott with the White Sox, Nick with the Reds, Orioles, and Phillies, Scott with the Cardinals, Sean Maddock with the Pirates, Carl, Braves, Rangers, Marlins, Scott with the, uh, the M's, the Mariners, and Nick Schuster with the Milwaukee Brewers, the Brew Crew. Let's sort by alphabetically by team. We're going to pause the video, allow for some trading time. Let me get those boxes that I'm up on my desk here. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, no deals were done. I think I've got enough supplies for this break. No deals were done. So the list that you saw on the previous screen remains the same here on Tuesday, the 11th. Jaspi's 21 box postseason high end baseball mixer. A lot of great stuff here. Thanks everybody for making this happen. I appreciate it. And there's all the boxes right there. 21 boxes. A lot of good stuff here. So we're gonna get the base heavier stuff out of the way first, and then we'll we'll work our way back to like the, the museum collection, the tier one, the NT first off the line, and that hit parade one of one box. We'll kind of work our way back there. So these are the silver packs for the chrome boxes. Let's make myself a little room here. Thanks everybody for making this happen. Why don't we do some of these little, little guys here? Now this is the Asia edition different parallels here. Got two of those. 21 boxes total. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Divisional day, divisional series day, the DS day. And some excitement happening already. Now we posted a poll on our uh, on our Twitter account, at Jaspies Breaks. We asked, uh, we asked the people what they thought who's going to win. So for the first game, Philadelphia at Atlanta, Ranger Suarez facing Max Freed, both lefties. 55% said that the, uh, that the Braves would win. A little, a little bit closer than I thought. But, the, uh, but Ranger Suarez looks great. And the Phillies jumped out to a to a really comfortable lead. The Braves looked a little uh, looked a little rattled. Managed, they managed to kind of this might be 
something to look for uh, look at going forward. But they managed to scratch a few runs across in the bottom of the ninth. They they got it really close. So that might give them some confidence going into the next game. But I was a little surprised. All right. Good luck, everybody. It's just a regular Julio Rodriguez base, as is this Bobby Witt. So this pa paper will not ship, as stated in the description but everything else will. Vet Commons won't go as well. And there's an autograph. It's Chris McMahon. That is for the Rocks. That's gonna go to Carl and the Rockies on the board. Well, I'm sure I'm sure your brother can can begrudge you just a just a quick little stop. You know, he's say, listen, bro. The rest of the trip is yours. All I'm asking is one 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 afternoon, maybe a night. That's all. There's Nick Garcia at a 150. That'll be for the Pirates. That'll be for Sean Maddock. box. Just paper, 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 chrome. And an autograph, Matthew Dyer, for the Metropolitans. Carl with the Mets. What are the Mets going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe we can do a little post post mortem on some of these playoff teams that got bounced. Mets got getting bounced in the uh, in the wild card. And you know the owner Stephen Cohen not happy with that. He's got deep pockets. What are they going to do? Where's Jacob Degrom going to go? Is he going to is is he going to open up the the checkbook for that? There's Bryson Stott, 18 out of 150. No, Carl has the uh, the Mets, Scott. You have the White Sox and the Mariners and the Cardinals. And the Diamondbacks. Yeah, hey, we're right on we're right on PCH. All right. Nice. All right. Let's open up a 2021 Bowman draft box. 3 Chrome Prospect autograph cards inside. So Rex, have have you guys? So for this cross country trip that you're doing, have you have you just talked about some stops yet, or ha are you not at that planning stage just yet? Like, what's the general itinerary?
By the way, I was on the Braves, minus one and a half runs. Did not work out well for me. Second game, um, who wins uh, Mariners versus the Astros? Logan Gilbert squaring off against Justin Verlander. 53%, that was also closer than I thought, said that they're going with the, uh, with the Astros in this. And ultimately, it was the Astros. But it looked like the Mariners were in control for much of the game. They jumped out to an early lead, getting the jump on Justin Verlander. But the Astros kept hanging around, kept hanging around. And then Jordan Alvarez bangs a three-run shot in the bottom of the ninth, walk off, 8-7 Astros. Crazy, stunning. Jason will be where, Carl? My dad just told me he was my brother when he wanted to do it. Oh, just said, just haven't really talked about it. Do you know what time of year? Oh, nice. I have to say at the sweets there, those are pretty nice. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, Carl. I'll see what I can do. All right, next box, looking for a few autos. There's Alec Thomas Gold, 12 out of 50. That's for you, Scott, in the Diamondbacks. It's like the Yankees got on the board there. Was that a solo shot? It's 1-1. Bottom of the third. And a Ryan Holgate to 499. Scott and the Cardinals. Got a Blaze Jordan, the Invicta card. Slightly thicker card stock. Just some paper. May or August? Well, make sure you plan it around the National, Rex. Make sure it's before or after. May would be great. If I, I don't think I have a vote, but May would be great. There's Ben Kasparius for my Dodgers. Kenneth with the Dodgers. I think they're playing in about, I think their first pitch is about an hour from now. And I'll do an autograph and hit recap at the end of this as well. You know, it's a pretty long break, so we'll, if you're re-watching this video, you can scroll to the end. If you're watching live, you're stuck with me here. A Chase Petty draft night insert. And we've got Chad Dallas. Some paper right here, 57 out of 190. Obviously, this paper does ship. We got Shane Panzini. Not numbered, but that'll ship. That'll go to the Royals. Marcelo Meyer for the Red Sox insert. More Papel. Tristan Casas, House, Tristan Houses, and Cade Povich, 94 out of 99, green auto for the Twins. It's going to be for Greg and the Twins. I 
Always nice to get some color here. Got Ruben Ibarra speckle. Is that numbered? Not numbered, but it'll ship. The last little stack here. Our three autos? I think we did. Maybe just some parallels. I'll look for paper, 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 paper. Oh, there is another auto right there. We got we got Mitch Otenbright for the fight and fills. Nick with the Phillies. Nick S. And a JT Schwartz, 91 out of 199 for the Mets. That'll be for Carl. That's Dodgers prospect Luis Rodriguez back there. And there's a Colton Kowser, 33 out of 50 for the Orioles. That'll be for Nick S. Speaking of Dodgers prospects, I'm fairly certain that Dodgers prospect Miguel Vargas uh, made it to the postseason roster. So dust off your Miguel Vargas cards. I don't think he's in the starting lineup tonight, but he's on the postseason roster. I'm fairly certain. All right, here's a here's a big one here. Five, the super jumbo. These are the ones with the big sausage link packs. Yeah, not surprisingly, Craig Kimbrell off the uh, not on the postseason roster. Blake Trinan didn't make it, so I guess I guess he's healthy, uh, which would be huge for the Dodgers. I think Dustin May also made it to the postseason roster, so it looks like he's healthy. Chris Taylor made it to the postseason roster. He's healthy. Yeah, and Miguel Vargas on the postseason roster, replacing Hanser Alberto. No David Price, no Caleb Ferguson on that postseason roster as well. Which I think is good. No Craig Kimbrough, I think it's good. I'd like to see Miguel Vargas, a little youngster there to provide some spark. Dave Roberts, the Dodgers manager, can get a little sentimental sometimes. Might be tempted to use a Craig Kimbrell for the narrative. It's good that he's, uh, he won't even be tempted. I, I, I really doubt it, because if he's not going to be using the Division Series, Rex, why would they put him on, you know, if they advance, why, why even put him on, a, on the Championship Series roster? The CS roster. There's really no time for. You know, there's really no uh, time for him to just kind of prove himself. 
Unless there's an injury, I guess. If there's an injury to a, to someone in the bullpen, then yeah, maybe maybe then you'll see Kimbrel get added to that to a postseason roster. All right, good luck with this one. It's Julio Carreras to 199. Joe Rock for the Rockies. I think that's why they drafted him. It'd be uh, Carl with the Rockies. We'll get Joe Rock. Yeah, I mean, if he was on the roster, yeah, I'm sure he would. I mean, I, I guess that's part of the, the calculation. There's Ricky Tideman to 499. You know, like, if you're only really, this blowouts don't happen too often in the playoffs. If he's only going to be used for a blowout, he's kind of wasting a roster spot. So that's why he's not even on there. So he won't even get a chance to, to do that. Maybe that was part of the math. All right, next little stack. We got Leover Piguero, 75 out of 150, one of the bigger uh, pirate names here, pirate prospects, Sean Maddock. Pirates, you'll also get all these Henry Davis Bowman firsts as well. First overall pick. I want to see like a refractor of that. That that's that would be that would be really nice. Or an autograph. There's Benny Montgomery. B -b -b Benny and the Jets. That'll go to the Rocks Carl with the Rockies. Next little stack here, and then we'll start working through some tops chrome, some sapphire, and then we'll start working our way into into like the one pack per box sort of uh, sort of boxes back there. Thomas Speckle and another Rocky autograph that's Jaden Hill 24 out of 71 Speckle auto for Carl and the Rockies that's with a spot that he won in the filler got randomized the rocks 
A couple autographs already. Got Calvin Ziegler, 484 out of 499. Mets front office got a lot of thinking to do in the offseason. Sure, Max Scherzer wasn't super effective. They were counting on him. They're paying him a lot of money. They got to try to keep Jacob DeGrom, who's definitely is interested in testing free agency, it seems like. I do something about that. I, I guess they have a pretty decent lineup, but I mean they only managed one hit in that in that wild card game. Not good. I think it was just a Pete Alonso single or something like that. You got to be able to get more than that out of that lineup. I feel like a lot of people were thinking. Uh, there's Jackson Wolf right here, Green. 82 out of 99. Some people speculated that that they'd open up the checkbook for uh, for Aaron Judge. Could that be a thing? There's Will Bednar. Bowman first autograph for Nick S. and the Giants. There's Austin Hendrick, sky blue to four ninety nine. For the red legs, that'll be for Nick S. Some more paper here. Rex think they, they, they need an expansion team in the Appalachians. So there'll be a Appalachian Rocky series. This is Garrett Mitchell. It'd be a, be a mountain of a series, Rex. 100 out of 199, Garrett Mitchell, Brew Crew, Nicholas. And we got Sam Bachman, Turner Overdrive. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business. That goes to Chris Parent and the Halos. Chris getting the Angels in the randomizer. All right. Uh, let's stay in. Uh, let's stay in prospect mode here with 2021 Bowman Draft First Edition. This is the only time they did first edition, right? This year, the 2021. Why, why did that happen? I'm pretty sure that Bowman was delayed, right? Maybe pandemic or a supply chain, supply chain issues or something like that. And so they were, they were able to manage to do a first edition product just to whet our appetite. I think that's what it was, but I don't think they've done it since. If they did, I don't know if we did a lot of it.
got a little, a little orange on the bottom of that stack here. So that Yankees game in progress. We got 30, about 30 some odd minutes left in our uh, Padres Dodgers poll. If you want to click the link in the chat, that'll take you to our Twitter page, at Jaspies Breaks, and you can uh, let us know who you think's going to win. At the moment, 70% of the Jaspie audience is. Uh, is going with the Dodgers. Oh, I think I started going through the stack a little too early. 70%. Mike Clevenger on the mound for the Padres. Julio Urias, the lefty, making the game one start. OMG is tie. Carl saying. I don't I don't know what that means, Carl. Alright, now we can go work through the stack. We got a little uh, little red here, a little ding in that corner, unfortunately. But a five out of five. These cards are actually also a little bit thinner than, this is not a chrome card. This is definitely a paper, but with a red foil on there. Brewers, Nick Schuster. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice, yep. Big hit, Big hit Express. First of many, I hope. That's a sign of a good break. First, little first edition. My 2012 Triple Threads. Oh, yeah. That's your Bryce Harper's. Your second year, my Jones. That could be a monster right there. So like Ryan Hines with the Nationals is paying attention to that box. Ooh, nice. Chris Chris Parent with the Angels kind of looking at that box too. And my boy Devontae Smith. It's like five eight on base machine. You need anything? No, I'm good, sir. Besides the Dodgers win. The Dodgers win would be nice. Where are you watching? Watching the game anywhere? Home, nice. The comfort of my own home. Nice, where you can yell and scream at the TV. I'm not really a yell, or yell and scream kind of guy watching, watching sports. With baseball, I'm usually, I'm usually not. Sometimes football gets, and football gets me football, riled up. Football, nice break, yeah. Uh, there's spray. Mick Abel to 150. We've had lots to uh, scream and yell about this season yeah, so far. Seriously. Like football team. Bryce Miller to 150 for the Mariners. For Scott, man, what do you think about that that Jordan walk off? That was that, that, that was, was a stunner. The most uh, I don't think it was stunning at all. That was the most predictable thing. That's I've true. Ever once seen. they brought in Robbie Ray, they bring in a starter for one at bat. Calvin Ziegler to 150. They try to get one out. I see that first pitch fastball, middle middle that Jordan just misses. Then he gives him and somehow even more middle middle pitch. I'm like, yeah. What's uh, not too surprising? Ian Muller goes to the Rangers. That'll be for Carl. And Calvin Ziegler will go to the Mets. That'll also be for Carl. And then the orange, Michael McGreevy. Five out of 25. Nice. Cardinals. Scott Goodman with that one. A top 15 pick for the Cardinals. His K per walk rate, it's on there. It's disgusting. It doesn't make sense. 
Also, 4.1 GPA in high Look school. Smart guy. Up. Star Wars enthusiast. Look at the big brain on Mike. Wow. Posted a 10.5 strikeout to walk ratio. That's, it's, that just doesn't make sense to me. You, you, 10 strikeouts for every one walk? Yeah. That's insane. Which makes no sense. For youngsters, yeah. Because you either have the most insane stuff, you strike out a bunch of people, but you walk a lot. Flood of zones with all four pitches, low to mid 90s sinker, two plane slider, downer curve, occasional changeup, scrapes, edges of the plate, sets up hitters expertly. So he's. Instead of striking out a lot of guys and walking a lot of guys, yeah. or not striking out many guys, not walking any guys. SoCal guy, San Clemente, born in San Clemente. He's striking out a lot and that's, giving up no walks. That's ridiculous. That's usually something you worry about with youngsters, right? They're always walking guys. Man, it's pretty nice. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Carl, easy. That's interesting. Easy on, easy on Chris. He's right here. That's pretty interesting, man. I will not have that kind of slander against a colleague. You can keep that to yourself, Carl. I like Mike McGreevy, though. Scott Goodman with the Cardinals. Take it easy on Chris, man. It's kind of inappropriate, out of nowhere. Yeah, I work here. Yeah. He's, he's the one sorting your stuff. Well, go Dodgers. All right, go Dodgers. We got a Jake Cave rookie autograph. Twins, that'll be for Greg. See you, Michael. Have a good one, man. Go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. This freshman Flash, Justice Sheffield. Nice, Paul. Thank you. I mean, I, th I think they are the odds-on favorite. Paul to to go all the way, but you know baseball playoffs can be can get kind of crazy, as as the Braves saw earlier today. Hopefully the Dodgers have been watching these early games and are not going to take their opponent for granted. There's a uh, Gene Segura jersey and autograph. This is 2019. 
right there. One out of 50 Brewers. That'll be for Nick Schuster. But I hope they, I hope they do. Here's a Fernando Tatis. And the Taylor Ward rookie card. Should we kill that single case pick your team filler? I don't know. Well, there wasn't any movement on the pick your teams themselves in three days too. So I don't know, we're kind of stuck. Maybe we can just cancel the whole thing. Chris Parent with the Angels. Kind of rocking a hard place, Jonathan, because because the reason why I put it into a filler originally was because the individual teams weren't selling. So now what? Maybe cancel the whole thing, is what people are saying. <laughs> Man, Rex, if if you take the time to vacation all the way to go across the country, come all the way out here, we wouldn't do you like that. So this is our first 2022 uh, Topps Chrome box, Hobby Edition. We have a dual case break of this Hobby Edition on the site right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Got a handful of spots, full spots, and we're down to the last filler. We also have a jumbo, this, this is the jumbo boxes right, right over here. We also have a jumbo single case pick your team that's in a filler right now. If you want to knock that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's a pretty good price on the filler. A lot of teams being given away. And if anything, we, we, we may have to do a filler for the filler. That might get people going. <laughs> right, Jonathan? I'm sorry, the number you've called no longer in service. If your name is Rex, press nine. And that'll just hang up. Yeah, it's <laughs> goodbye. Also, remember the, those. There were some extended base short prints that that were not in these boxes here. So each box gets a sil will have a silver pack. So we'll open those as well after we do the two hobby and the two jumbos right here. You can kind of see the boxes on the top camera, right? Oh no. All right, watch out guys. All right, next box. Oh. Why does Rex get so much grief? Well, Jonathan, he has been one of our longest time customers. Yeah, because we like him, actually. Yeah, he, he's been with he's been with Jaspi since the beginning, pretty much. So, so we've uh, we've hung out here together for a while, for a while now. We like to we like to give him a hard time.
This Cleveland Yankees game still tied at still tied at one. So we're actually yeah, this this mixer is taking a little bit longer than I thought. That's okay. I think we were a tiny bit ahead of schedule anyway, but we've got a couple jumbo boxes, sapphire box, triple threads. And then we start getting into, I mean, this stuff is already good, but the real good stuff, tier one museum collection, immaculate NT baseball first off the line. And we'll close out with that hit parade one of one box, which is gonna be awesome. And we got Mark Hanna. Purple speckle autograph for the Mets. <laughs> Rex saying they hate me. They keep you around for conversation starters or for the real life friends at home. Uh, Rex, we don't even talk about you, the real life friends. We don't even take that time. 33 out of 299 for the Mets. That's for Carl. There's Mike Yastrzemski, 44 out of 99. Carl Yastrzemski's grandson, that's gonna go to Nick S. <laughs> right, that too. That too, Jonathan. There's Alfonso Rivas. Cubs auto for Michael, Michael Osio. Where does Jacob deGrom end up? Oh, I also forgot this Kershaw, 52 out of 99. Green parallel out of that 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball. Nah, I don't even, I don't even bring you up, Rex. I don't even bring you up. Oh, nice Wander Franco here as well. Obviously I don't, Rex. Come on. Come on. Not that mean. <laughs> I, w I wish our Joshua Dobbs was my real life friend. There's the Wander. 13, 33, check that, out of 50. Nice. A little bit of a gold sheen there, a little parallel. Rays, Ryan Heights, Tampa Bay Rays. There's Michael Brantley. That'll be for Carl and the Astros, last spot mojo. You think the Cubs are gonna go big in the free agent market, Rex? There's Paven Smith. Magenta, Speckle, Scott with the Diamondback, that's the 350. They do need the they do need the pitching. Rodon could be on their radar. Interesting. I suppose it it, it kind of depends on what Carlos Rodon. There's Joe Barlow, rookie auto for the Rangers. That's for Carl. What they want out of. Um, 92 out of 199. What they want out of. Uh, their careers, you know, do they do just do they want a big payday? Which is well deserved, sure. To go to a team that'll probably struggle to go to the playoffs. Yeah. 
Or do they want to be part of that rebuild? Don't know. There's Max Muncy. Speckle, is that numbered? I don't think so, but it'll ship. Wow, they're gonna go after Rodon and Trey Turner? It's ambitious. All right, two boxes of Jumbo, then the Silver Packs. Yeah, Jordan Alvarez. Man, Jonathan, the, the, whole, the whole shop here, we were, the gang, we were all, we were, our eyes were on the TV. We saw that happen. Ooh. Carlos Rodon went to your son's high school. In high school won the 4A state title when he was a senior. He was unbelievable, yeah. Pretty incredible. I mean, he had a really great season here too, and he can opt out of that deal and probably, probably end up getting a big contract somewhere. Gotcha. So Ricketts sent out a message to Rex is saying, according to Rex, saying that they plan using their farm system, making it sound like they have no plans to trade anybody. So maybe just keep developing, call it the youngsters, and then add in free agency. All right, there's the first jumbo box. Here's the second jumbo box. Grom's going to get paid. How, how old is Carlos Rodon? I actually don't know how old he is. DeGrom is actually a little bit older than than I thought. So, the, so years might come into play. So Carlos Rodon turns 30. He's 29 now. Turns 30 in December. And uh, DeGrom is 34. He turns 35 next June. Interesting. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe Degrom gets shorter years and maybe maybe a higher average annual value. Maybe Rodon just gets it just gets a big contract. All right, jumbo boxes. Remember, we got a case of jumbo. Got these jumbo carts for some reason. I don't know what happened to the factory, but some of these cards will end up sticking together a little bit. But we do have a full case jumbo in the store uh, on Jaspi's case breaks right now. We pulled the remaining teams out of there and we popped them into a filler. Now, I'd be willing to bet since we got this big, a couple of big baseball mixers off the board today. Um, there's Matt Veerling for the Phillies. I'll bet people's attentions will be turned will be turned towards that, and that's Nick S. and the Phillies. 147 out of 150. So part of what Cubs ownership Rex is saying is saying that to win the World Series, you need to build a team that consistently make the playoffs. That means having a strong far system, right? Citing the fact that the last 15 World Series winners were ranked in the top 10 farm system in Major League Baseball in years leading up to there. Yeah, that's the formula. You know, I, I think I think the days of, you know, the days of uh, just outright spending, like maybe like the early 2000s Yankees, 
maybe is not that sustainable anymore. And a lot of the Dodgers moves were because of, of through trades. They were able to, to trade top prospects to get big name players. Sure, they have they are able to sign them, re-sign them too, but strong farm system kind of opened that door for him. Detroit, David M with the Tigers. Fangrace recently ranked Farm System fifth in baseball, an improvement over the preseason ranking of eighth. And your 2021 preseason ranking of 22. Really, that is a huge jump. And a plate, a plate auto. Wow, nice. Bobby Dalbeck. That's a nice one. Plate and autograph for Carl. And a one of one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. I got Dansby Swanson, Gold Wave, 19 out of 50. That'll be for the Braves, Carl with the Bravos. Dansby Swanson also a free agent in the off season. Once the, the once uh, the season, their season is over, whenever that may be. There's Max Cranick taking it to the max. Bucko, Sean Maddock with the Pirates. That's right, they do have Pete Crow Armstrong. And we've got Brandon Belt. Piece of his jersey, 34 out of 99. Giants, that'll be for Nick with my rivals. A lot of people thinking, connecting dots, maybe thinking that Aaron Judge could end up back home in the Bay Area. And, ooh, a Julio Rodriguez rookie autograph, purple parallel. Two eleven out of two fifty. That is awesome. I just posted a little while ago. Or earlier today, I posted a Julio Rodriguez autograph that we pulled from a different break. That was a blue parallel. This one's a purple parallel. Scott Goodman. And I, th I think he had a pretty nice, even though the Mariners lost, which was unfortunate. But he had a pretty good day today. He went two for four, two RBIs, scored a few runs. I think he had a, had a triple, a double and a triple. There you go, Scott. And I'm glad that for uh, for this set, anyway, it seems like he signed all of those cards. Oftentimes, he's a he's been a redemption. So that's what Julio Rodriguez's autograph looks like, which is pretty good too. It's like a pretty good looking autograph.
And the other jumbo box, we've got a Ryan Mountcastle. Purple speckle autograph. Orioles, Nick Stoffel. That's with that giveaway spot, Nick. Orioles, 184 out of 299. And we've got a Zach Short Tigers rookie autograph going to David M. And Detroit. Zach Short is actually 5'10". Oh, Yankees are up 2-1 now. Bottom of the sixth. Kind of a close game. Ooh, look at this. Nice Matt Olson, A's edition. Going to David. Forty-one out of ninety-nine. A club plaques autograph card. That looks pretty cool. Brand Marsh, purple speckle of two ninety nine. Chris Parent with the Angels. We got Alejo Lopez, rookie autograph for the Reds. That'll be for Nick. No reaction from Scott on that Julio Rodriguez, although maybe he was just like, it's a long break. I'll check in later. Walker Bueller, get well soon. Ooh, and a nice Wander Franco rookie refractor. That's for Ryan Hines and the Rays. This is this a variation? It ends in one seven. I thought his cards were this way. There you go, Ryan. I like it. And we got a. Miguel Sanchez, rookie auto for the Brew Crew, and that's for for the other Nick S, Nicholas Schuster. I was hoping we'd see more of uh, more raids and Wander Franco in the playoffs, but it's not to wait another year for that. All right. Next, how about some 2021 Bowman Sapphire? Oh, 
Oh, Yankees up 4-1 now. Little Rizzo home run off of Cal Quantrill. Big hit. Second deck. Wow. Behind JJ Bladet is Kyle Manzardo for Ryan and the Rays. That is eighty seven out of ninety nine. Ooh, is that some red? Four out of five, Mason Miller. Red, out of five. And that's for David and the A's. David, nice one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. Julio Rodriguez right here. Out of that sapphire. All right. Nice. We're getting to the real good stuff here. Let's go back in time to 2012. Tops Triple Threads Baseball. Good luck. Not too often we get these uh, these 2012 boxes. Good luck, everyone. And we got some blast from the past. There's Dustin Ackley, 42 out of 50. That's for the M's. That'll be for Scott. Adrian Beltre, 35 out of 36. Adrian Gonzalez and Josh Hamilton. Beltre, Rangers edition, going to Carl. Thirty five out of thirty six on that relic. We've got a trio of Red Sox. Thirty six out of thirty six. Carl Yastremski, Jim Rice, Jacoby Ellsbury. Bean Town Pride. Carl with the Red Sox. And got Chris Heisey, game used jersey and autograph. 56 out of 99 for the Reds. That's going to be for Nick. All right, so nothing too crazy in this. The potential for craziness was here. Bryce Harper rookies and whatnot. There's Jackie Robinson. There's Ichiro. We tried. All right, let's get into some 2020 Tier 1. Good luck, everybody.
I'm gonna find a, there's FS1, Padres Dodgers, getting underway, is underway. All right, the relic is CC Sabathia, 378 out of 399. Yankees, that'll be for Michael. We got Wilson Contreras for the Cubs. I think he is he a free free agent? Michael with the Cubbies. I think he is. And we've got a Jordan Yamamoto, eight out of ten, rookie autograph, silver ink. Carl and the fish. Now, two boxes of 2021 tier one. And we do have a uh, half case break of this. It's a mixer, 16 boxes, half case of Clearly Authentic and half a case of Tier 1. I think it's into, into a filler. We should be able to do that tonight. All right, we got Luke Voigt, 127 out of 399. And the Tier 1 is 2022 Tier 1. This is 2021. Another Yankee for Michael. And we've got some legends right here. 28 out of 199, Greg Maddox. Definitely a legend. Braves, Carl, Bravos. And we got Whit Merrifield, 15 out of 300. Royals, Carl with the Royals. John Smoltz, 47 out of 299. Piece of the jersey for the Braves. Carl with the Braves. Doing some color commentary alongside Joe Davis. The playoffs. We got Nick Castellanos, 138 out of 300 for the Reds. That's going go to go to Nick and the Red Legs. It's a big, bold autograph there. And we got Chris Bubich, 133 out of 300. His autograph going to Carl and the Royals. All right, tier one's done. 2021 Museum Collection Baseball. Good luck. Some really nice stuff. A lot of big hit potential in these. Last group of boxes. Oh, I forgot to do those silver packs. Gotta do those silver packs. These are both sketch reproductions, I think, yeah. Well, they look pretty good, though. 
There's Rizzo to 99. Just hit a home run for the Yankee. That's Cubs edition. All right, and we've got a Wade Boggs autograph. 12 out of 25 archival auto. Silver ink, Wade Boggs. Nice. Carl and Boston. And we've got Ron Santo, 12 out of 25, old cub. Some pieces of his lumber there going to Michael Losia. And we've got triple relic and autograph, Reese Hoskins. Great penmanship from him. One out of 25 for Nick and the Phillies. And behind Casey Mize is Fernando Tatis Jr., 15 out of 50. For the Friars, that's going to go to go to uh, Chad and the Padres. All right, let's actually open these silver packs really quick. So the short print possibilities are in these packs. One pack per uh, per chrome box. We have two hobbies, two jumbos. Right. No short prints in there. All right, onward to the next museum collection box, 2022 museum collection. Then we'll do that immaculate. We'll do two boxes of NT baseball first off the line, which is pretty nice. And then we'll close with that hit parade one of one. We'll end with a train whistle. And then we'll do a little recap. Thanks everybody for getting in on this 21 box postseason baseball mixer. A lot of fun. A lot of excitement in the postseason as well. and some number cards right off the top. There's a Garrett Cole to 150. It's for the Yankees. And your hits. Behind the Nolan Ryan reproduction is Devin Williams. 17 out of 75. Quad relic for Nicholas. Schuster and the Brew Crew. Behind Blake Snell, we've got more Brewers, Keston Hira. A couple pieces of his lumber and his autograph. Ooh, nice, Trey Turner with a dinger. Solo shot, nice. 419 feet, 111 mile per hour exit velo. A shot. And that's uh, to 399 on that Nicholas. And we've got Michael Kopech, 13 out of 25. Scott and the White Sox. And we got Max Muncy. Is he coming up to bat now? No, it's Freddie Freeman. Seven out of 50. 
really big turnaround in his season after just a horrid, horrid start. Uh, he is batting fifth in the lineup. That goes to the Dodgers, Kenneth, with my Dodgers. All right. A few Panini boxes. Let's get some immaculate baseball going. Loaders here. Two out of twenty five, three color patch, Dylan Carlson, Scott and the Cardinals. Got a Maglio Ordonez. Remember him? 12 out of 99. Tigers. David. Tiger uppercut. We got Hassan Kim. 7 out of 25. He's in the lineup tonight. He's batting 7 in the lineup for the Padres. This will go to Chad, the Friars. There's Gunnar Henderson. Do we give it two colors? A little bit of that black peeking there. Two color patch, an autograph, 10 out of 25. Nick and the Orioles. Got Brian Dela Cruz, seven out of 10. Silver ink on the eye black for the Miami Marlins. Carl with the Marlins. And one out of three, P. Rose. Red legs. That'll be for Nick Stoffel. And the red legs out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! The Hit King. All right, that was immaculate. Let's get into some NT baseball first off the line. I usually see some nice exclusive stuff in here. Good luck, everybody. Last two boxes, or last three boxes. Uh, no, not not yet. Right, I'm not concerned about the Phillies just yet. I'm concerned about concerned about getting past the Padres first. There's Tris Speaker, four out of four. Piece of his lumber. For the Red Sox, that's going to be for Carl. Old school guy here. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. We got a Jose Ramirez, 36 out of 99. For the Guardians, Carl with Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. Another great season for Jose Ramirez in the books. 
We got Craig Kimbrell, seven out of ninety-nine. Uh, Chicago edition right here, not on the Dodgers postseason roster. There you go. Hey, Kenneth with the Dodgers, Max Muncie, RBI single. Cubs, Michael with the Kim, Kim, Craig Kimbrell. Hoyt Wilhelm, 6 out of 25. Class of 85. That's going to be for Scott and the White Sox. Ooh, look at that. 5 out of 7, Joe Adele. It's the top of the Angels logo right here and his on card autograph. Rookie, patch, and auto. Ooh. Is this going to go into a 180 or do I need a slider box for this? Chris Parent with the Angels. Nice. Actually, it's a perfect fit in a 180 top loader. Nice. We got Eric Davis for the Reds, 85 out of 99. Nick with the Reds. Who would I rather be up against, Phillies or Braves? Rex is asking. Here's Davey Garcia, 85 out of 99 for the Yankees. Probably the Phillies. I think they have, I think their bullpen is not as strong. So they, they, they could get got at the end. We got Bartola Colon. So we got Michael with the Yankees. And from Bronx to Queens, Carl with the Metropolitans. It's this big guy here. Big sexy. And oh, and it's a book. Rookie? Kiebert Ruiz. Nice. 75 out of 99. Jersey and autograph. Dodgers edition. Of course, he's with the Nats now. But great catching prospect going to Kenneth and the Dodgers. Can catch the ball, can call a, call a good game, can hit. All right. Another first off the line box. Yeah, two boxes, right? Yeah, two boxes of first off the line. That's pretty awesome. luck everybody I mean thinking about it a little bit more Rex I mean the team these teams are in the playoffs for a reason I mean I think you can't really get too cute and be like I'd rather face this team over this team they're there for a reason and all those teams are good <laughs> you know who would I rather face I don't know neither I mean you want to face the Braves that's a hundred hundred game winning team great starters great hitters great defense here's Rhino for the Cubs Michael you want to go with the hot Phillies? You know, I think they're winning ball. I think they're putting up runs without Bryce Harper or or Kyle Schwarber doing damage. So that's scary. What if they get hot? They're already winning without him. It's not ideal. It's tough. Everyone, everyone's tough. 22 out of 99. Jared Kalanick. Colossal relic for the Mariners. That's for Scott. Has it, has it really only been three years since uh, since Nick been breaking? It does seem longer. You know, Gilo was here. Gabe was looking at at old videos too recently. He says, uh, says I, I look exactly the same. One out of six, Garrett Cole. Right on the button, Garrett Cole. That'll be for Michael and the Yankees. Yeah, the, the, the hair got kind of wild sometimes. 32 out of 49, Anthony Rizzo, Yankees edition. 
It's another Yankee for Michael, Garrett Cole, and then the Rizzo. Ooh, look at that. Bobby Dalbeck, big piece of the Boston Red Sox seal there. Badge, three out of seven for Carl and the Red Sox. Nice patches here. There's Brady Singer, 20 out of 49. Carl with the Royals. We got a 67 out of 99. Hirokazu Sawamura. Midnight signatures for the Red Sox, also for Carl. And we got a Yohan Mankata, Treasure Materials jersey and autograph, 6 out of 50. White Sox, Scott Goodman. And the book. Book it. Cut signatures, Bud Selig, 2 out of 60. The old commissioner. Everyone's got a shot at this. He's not attached to a team. So that'll be a randomizer at the end. I don't, I don't think Bud Selig is with us anymore, right? No, he's still with us. Then Wasn't there another commissioner who passed away recently? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. All right, we're going to close it out with a one of one, a train whistle. Good luck, everybody. We'll randomize that cut auto to somebody, and then we will uh, do a quick recap. All right, good luck, everyone. Ooh, ooh, MLB Logo Man. One of one, MLB Logo Man, George Springer. From Diamond Icons, Astros Edition. Going to Carl, last spot mojo, Carl, congrats. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And there you go, everybody. The 21 box postseason high end baseball mixer, a random team break in the books. Big thanks to everybody for making this happen. Let's flip back over to the list here. Let's gather everybody's names. Everyone's got a shot at that cut auto. There's everybody there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize that list. Six and a one, seven times each, or seven times for this. One, two, just one list. Three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Name on top is going to be Michael Losia. There you go, Michael. Congrats to you. After seven, that Bud Selig cut auto. Two out of 60 going your way. All right. Now, a recap. Pretty nice break. Thanks everybody for making it happen. A lot of great patches, some good inks, a button, the Kiebert Ruiz, Bartolo, that Angels patch was pretty awesome. And plus there were, there were a ton of numbered cards too that our sorting and shipping team will sleeve up and top load and uh, sort out for you. Well, triple threads was good to see. That's out of five. 
There's that nice Wander Franco. Spotting some nice color. Julio Rodriguez, purple. Plate. Wander Franco to 50. Out of five, that's from the first edition. Man, a lot of great stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thanks for filling this up as well. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.